Hi everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas neurologist from Rajmandri Andhra Pradesh. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic the cranial nerves part 2 the optic nerve. So we are going to talk about the optic nerve, the retina, macula and the optic disc. Very very important concepts of the retina, macula and the optic disc. Optic nerve. The optic nerve is actually a central nervous system fiber pathway connecting the retina and the brain. So optic nerve is the central nervous system fiber pathway connecting the retina and the brain. The peripheral receptors namely the retinal rods and cones are stimulated by light rays that pass to the cornea, lens and vitreous. They then send impulses to the bipolar layer cells. Cells they send axons to the ganglion layer cell layer. There are nearly 1.2 million ganglion cells and their axons that make up the optic nerve. The photoreceptor layer is the deepest layer of the retina. It lies adjacent to the choroid and light must pass through the superficial layers to reach it. So what are the functions of the rods and the cones? The rods they respond to low intensity stimulation and mediate night vision, the peripheral vision and perception of movement. The rods are more numerous than the cones, are scattered diffusely throughout the retina but are absent in the macula. So the rods are more numerous than the cones, are scattered diffusely throughout the retina but are absent in the macula. So rods are absent in the macula, whereas the cones are also present throughout the retina but are concentrated in the macula. So rods are absent in the macula, whereas cones are concentrated in the macula. The macula consists entirely of cones. It is the site of greatest visual acuity and color perception. So the macula consists entirely of cones. It is the site of greatest visual acuity and color perception. Yeah, now let's talk about the macula. The macula is a shallow small depression in the retina that lies temporal to the disc. Macula is responsible for the central 15 degrees of vision and the discrimination of colors and fine visual details. It is the point of most acute vision because the overlying retinal layers are pushed aside and light falls directly on the receptors. The optic disc or papilla. The optic disc or papilla is the ophthalmoscopically visible tip of the intraocular portion of the optic nerve. It contains no receptor cells, does not respond to visual stimuli and is responsible for the physiologic blind spot. So optic disc or papilla, it contains no receptor cells, does not respond to visual stimuli and therefore is responsible for physiologic blind spots. The macula, not the disc forms the center of the retina. The macula, not the disc forms the center of the retina. Right. The retinal ganglionic cell axons form the retinal nerve fiber layer. Myelin in the optic nerve is CNS myelin formed by oligodendroglia. So it is the optic nerve is CNS myelin formed by the oligodendroglia. Optic nerve axons primarily carry visual impulses but they also transmit impulses that mediate accommodation and other reflex responses. Macular vision is a critical function and the projection of the macula to the optic nerve is massive. 
macular vision is a critical function and the projection of the macula to the optic nerve is massive because of the preponderance of the macular fibers early signs of optic nerve disease reflect macular function that is impaired color vision impaired acuity and central scotoma a dense collection of axons the papillomacular bundle travels from the nasal hemi macula to enter the temporal aspect of the disc so here you can see the optic disc and the macula there's a papillomacular bundle running centrally from the macula to the optic now head the papilla and you can see the super superior retinal arcade inferior retinal arcades when these superior retinal arcade or inferior retinal arcades get affected patients can develop arcuate scotomas and then in the optic nerve head the papilla you can see the arteries and the veins we should always look for spontaneous venous pulsation of the veins the spontaneous venous pulsations of the optic uh, nerve head and absence of the spontaneous venous pulsations may be an early sign of papilledema so we have to look at the artery vein and the nerve fiber layer the macula is connected to the papilla through the papillomacular bundle and there's a dense preponderance of fibers coming to the optic nerve head from the macula and therefore dysfunction of the optic nerve may reflect the dysfunction of the macula and papillomacular bundle is very much sensitive to toxins so it's a very important diagram one need to understand this diagram so fibers of the temporal hemi retina and hemi macula arch around the macula and enter the disc as a superior and inferior retinal arcades lesions involving these arcades may create arcuate visual defects that have an arcing shape the fibers of the papillomacular bundle are very much vulnerable to toxins ischemia and pressure the intracranial meninges extend forward along the optic nerves for a variable distance forming the vaginal sheaths through these sheaths the intracranial subarachnoid space continues along the nerves and may transmit increased intracranial pressure causing papilledema so the intracranial meninges extend forward along the optic nerves for a variable distance forming the vaginal sheaths through these sheaths the intracranial subarachnoid space continues along the nerves and may transmit the increased intracranial pressure causing papilledema so decompression of the optic nerves by opening up of the sheaths is sometimes done to treat papilledema that threatens the vision yeah these are all the important concepts of the retina macula and the optic nerve head i hope you have enjoyed listening to my lecture about these important concepts i have also written a book called focused neurology published by cbs publishers and distributors it is available online from all leading bookshops including amazon most of the concepts of neurology i have put it in a question and answer format it could be bought online i hope really you have enjoyed listening to my lecture as much as i have enjoyed delivering it if you have liked it please like it share it and subscribe and send the link to all of your friends thank you bye